Hi darlings, it's Shay. I'm going to explain how I use the clipping mask inside of Photoshop. What is a clipping mask, you might ask? Well, a clipping mask is a type of Photoshop layer that allows you to draw within a certain shape. Very magical, very, very easy to use. So I'm going to use clip-on earrings as an example, and it's easier to explain clipping masks by showing you. So I'll share my screen with you and we'll go in real time so it should be easy to follow along. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below and let's dive in. All right, so let's start with our base layer. In this case, that is going to be tassel. This is gonna be the bottommost layer. It's gonna define the boundary of our clipping mask. So there's the tassel. We don't want anything to extend beyond this shape here. So to start out creating a clipping mask, you have to make a new layer, and there are several ways that you can do that. You can go to the bottom right of your screen here, towards this little dog-eared icon, click that, new layer, awesome. But I'm gonna delete that. Another way you can do it is to go to layer at the tip top of your screen and go to new layer, and it even comes up with like a pop-up and you can like name it. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. I am going to use a quick key, which is a shortcut that I use on my Mac. Um, and my quick key buttons for a new layer are Shift Command N. Comes up with that pop up also, and I actually want this to be shadow. So, yay! Now we have that layer created, and it's time to turn it into a clipping mask. There's a way that you can do this you can go to Layer Create Clipping Mask and you'll see it's become this like little nested arrow that is going above the layer tassel. Um, to release the clipping mask, you can also just go back to layer in the same area it says release clipping mask. Um, the quick key though, which I use all the time, is option command G. And you got the same thing here. To release it, you can also hit option command G. But we're gonna just keep that clipping mask going right there. And basically, Everything that I color on this screen, you'll see my cursor's totally up here. I've got this yellow color. Um, you can't see that, but what you can see is all in here, which is great. If I was going to release that clipping mask, then you could see all that yellow that I was coloring in earlier, but we don't wanna see that, so we're clipping it. Um, I just realized that I didn't want to use the color yellow on this tassel. I actually wanted to use a darker purple, so I'm deleting what's on that layer. I'm still keeping the clipping mask. I can show you guys more tricks on that kind of stuff later, but focusing on clipping mask right now. Here's a darker color purple, and I am just going to kind of fan it out, sort of how I would do if I was going to be adding shadows. So yay, you can see how this is working and everything is staying neatly inside that tassel. Even like you can see these like rough edges here. It, it is staying within all of that information. It is so great. Um, so there you go. Another great thing about the clipping mask is, let's say I wanted to change this color purple that I was using for the shadow. I could click this little button, lock transparent pixels, bloop and choose a darker shade of purple if I so chose. And I can color just these shadow lines, which is super great. If I had been doing all of this on one layer, it would be such a pain to change these colors, but having it on a separate layer, and on top of that, having that separate layer as a clipping mask, keeping everything inside this tassel shape, it is just making it so easy to change my colors, change my line work, whatever I wanna do. So that's basically the clipping mask for you. It's a really simple but super effective tool. I use it all the time.